Okay, Chris, we're ready. We're ready? No, we don't want to What? I think this might be the people. Yeah, I think we're good to go. We the people, people maybe. The tour is obviously back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They looked at, they took one look at the score and they knew who was going to win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they. <laughs> Is that your name? Oh, yeah. They were so confident they didn't even want to see Calvin. Calvin. Come back. Okay, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a speed round. So everybody on your team should be able to press the button. Everybody press the yeah. every, um, every score is worth 100 again. Uh -huh. But you are going to lose points. So if you press the buzzer and you don't have an answer or you get it wrong, you lose 100. If okay. you get it right, you get 100 and we'll move forward. There is the potential to get 3,000 points with this round. I, I, I might have missed what you said. That. So you're just going to ask a question, first person to first answer person correctly. Exactly. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What? 2,900, 2,500. Yeah. Rask has 2,500. We do. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're winning, right? Or no? okay. We're winning by a few hundred, aren't we? Like yeah. Did you not write it down? It's 2,900 to 2,500. And 25, yeah. I truly am a star cross club. <laughs> Wait, but you have, who is in the lead? FDL. Yeah, you wrote it wrong. <laughs> I'm watching you. Oh, yeah. Me. We need a lawyer here to look at the score. Why did you get rid of the scoreboard? Uh, all right. So, A. Oh, my God. <laughs> First one's just to get us get us going with it, but you still get points for it as our scorekeeper ready? No. No. <laughs> uh, and then between Alyssa and Alice, can, if I miss who's pressed it, can you see? Can you see? Yeah? Okay. Ready. So, how many planets in our solar system? Uh, FDM. Eight. <laughs> I like that you question it. Yes. What is it? What is it? I mean, you're here and you have something to say about that. Oh, we got a, we got a callback to the previous star party. Is he a Google apologist or something? That was the previous. <laughs> this gets nine, 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 nine. <laughs> the signs fly out, yes. Um, okay. Question two. What year did the Posca telescope see first light? 1918. Okay. Uh, question three. Okay, so what is the approximate you guys distance? Are fast. Oh, are we good? Okay. What is the approximate distance from the Earth to the center of our <laughs> Center of the Virgo cluster. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> good luck. Center of the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess Milky Way galaxy, twenty six thousand light years. The answer I have. You got the that's question right. Oh. I think that's the correct answer. Okay. So, okay. I think that's, <laughs> what I <thought. laughs> that's what I thought it was. Well, is it in light? Twenty five. In oh, what unit? Oh, well. I mean, I feel like in light years, that's, I think oh, we can have same ballpark, so we can go with that. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can give them that. Uh, how long is an astronomical year? Wait, what? Astronomical. An astronomical year? Yeah. You mean 365.24219 days? Thank you. Wow. you. Do you get bonus points for every decimal? Say, every decimal. Every decimal. Every decimal. What is the closest star to Earth? Proxima Centauri. Go, 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 go. The sun. Oh. <laughs> You're right, right, you're right. I'm just trying to be mature. Because they trick you. Oh, I stand saying. corrected. Yeah. After. Okay. What is the largest planet in our solar system? Jupiter. What is, what, which galaxy is closest to the Milky Way? The... Rock. You're going to get this wrong. Small name. Magellanic Cloud. What? Yep. Andromeda. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but. Well, is, okay, good, great question. Is a dwarf galaxy a galaxy? No, is Pluto a planet? Pluto's not a planet, okay? You can't take off 100. You got a right okay. answer, even though that's not with Let's us. Let's give them both 100. And then I'll bring up the Ford galaxy. The what? The Ford galaxy. Okay, what causes the seasons on Earth? 
the um, slope of the tilt. The tilt <laughs> of the Earth against the ecliptic. You mean axial tilt? Oh, <laughs> same. <laughs> In relation to the it's orbit around the sun, correct. What is the name of the phenomenon where a total solar eclipse is visible as a ring of light around the And your eclipse. Good one. Yes. Yes. Or it's also called for another hundred point. Ring of fire. Oh, I like that. <laughs> the ring of fire. The ring of fire. Is, Johnny Cash is so not again, Johnny, Johnny Cash. Cash. Yeah. Okay, so what is the process by which a star converts hydrogen into helium releasing? Yes. Nuclear fusion? Correct. <laughs> is nuclear <laughs> thin which synthesis planet also? is known as the red planet? Uh, they got hey, it. he got it. What? It was a rascal. It was a Do we have to hit the buzzer first? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're not doing that. Well, okay, hold on. Okay. I think I it's Cameron, I need to know the Yeah. So I know rascal. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I mean, the hundred goes to rascal. Oh, no, we're getting, yeah. getting okay. destroyed, guys. Okay. Um, what is the term for the apparent shift in the position of an object? Parallax. <laughs> Which wow. astronomer formulated the laws of planetary motion? Yes. Kepler. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think yeah. it was at me. Did you say Kepler, though? I just heard. Yeah. Kepler, yeah. Kepler, yeah. The buzzer was different, but the answer was the yeah, same. Uh, what is the name of the first artificial satellite launched into Earth? Sputnik 1. Correct. I keep saying what is, oh my god. <laughs> you're, you're cursed from now on. Ever. In life. Uh, what month is the next solar eclipse? April. April. What is April? April. <laughs> How many planets in the solar system have rings? Who got it? FDL. Three. Four. Correct. <laughs> Damn it. What is the name of the astronaut camera that has assigned as the backup for Artemis? Oh. Jenny Freddy Gibbons. <laughs> the backup? Oh, that is wild, dude. <laughs> okay. I would have gone and if he didn't. <laughs> um, besides hydrogen and helium, what is the third most important? Lithium. Oxygen. The third most abundant element in the sun. Oh, oh man. Is oxygen? oxygen? Yes. Really? I could breathe yeah. Oxygen or carbon? I was in the early universe, okay? Yeah. Sounds yeah. hospitable. Because, because oxygen is produced by triple alpha then. CNO oh, or something yes, like that. <laughs> no, that was really cool. <laughs> it is cool. <laughs> it was very cool. Okay. What is the name of the Wasana Jews for this hill? The what? With Texas. Correct. Get to know. Uh, what is the name of the notable contribution Canada made to the ISS? Canada Arm. Correct. Right. What well, long is space shuttle? Canada Arm oh. 2. What is on the space shuttle? Canada Arm 1. Oh, it was a Canada Arm 2. Canada Arm 2 on the station. Yeah, okay. they didn't say that. Oh, yeah. No, no, but, but, but Chris, Chris did this with his fingers. He said Canada Arm. Okay. Thank you. What causes the apparent... Oh, sorry. Ready? Yeah. What causes the apparent retrograde motion of planets in the night sky as... Um, being passed by the Earth in their orbit. Relative orbital yeah. velocity. Okay. <laughs> just trying to help um, <laughs> uh, Using the spectral classification system, what type of star is our sun? G. Correct. G25. G. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> also known as a G dwarf star, but we still That's consider right. it a star. Is a dwarf like, star a star? No, it's a dwarf. <laughs> okay, okay, yes. okay. Yes, it is. A side, a side, thing, a side thing, a side thing. What is a good mnemonic for the classifications? A that good not one? Oh, be a fine guy, kiss me. What? Oh, be a fine guy. No, that's, that's the old one. It's. No, no, no. I learned it recently. <laughs> They're still teaching that. Yeah, yeah. No, it's only bad astronomers forget generally known mnemonics. Well, uh, <laughs> generally known. Oh, that's. Okay. Is that good? I, I, uh, I, generally. Yeah, oh, no one. Okay. Where's yeah, the Where's yeah, the yeah. N? 
No, no, oh, it starts with an M. Oh. <laughs> Only bad, everybody, come on, say it. <laughs> Only bad astronomers forget <laughs> generally <laughs> known mnemonics. Mnemonics. Yes. 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 Computers. People don't need those stupid packets anyway. Um, <laughs> okay. That's a good one. Thank you. Okay, can we get back to... No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> we needed a break. Yeah, 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 true. A okay, a little uh, plug here, I feel like, for some good, good science that was discovered on this hill. How do astronomers detect exoplanets and what is the primary... <laughs> So the first yeah. way was by radial velocity variations, but now they usually use occultation, the transit method. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's oh, not a transit. It's thing. the same. Yeah. Wait, transit is different than the occultation. It is. It's different from the radial velocity. The radial. But the radial is yeah, the first way. Right. Oh, but you already answered yeah, yes. Yeah. You got it. You're good. What is the cosmological constant, and how does it? 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec. That's and it the Hubble constant. Oh, shit. Well, uh, do you want to finish it. the question? Because I can finish. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. So <laughs> what is the cosmological <laughs> constant, and how does it relate to the expansion of the universe? The, it's a constant of integration in Einstein's equations, which gives a background vacuum energy to the cosmos. Okay. And it's with, with, what is it associated with, with the concept of what? Dark or, energy. So that would be like for a yeah. Good one. Um, okay. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> what? Uh, explain what a light year is and why it is a useful unit of measurement. Who was first? First one of us. What? She got it. She got it. No, 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 no. Objection. You got it. You got it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Explain what a light year is. And a light year is a measure of distance, and it is how fast light travels in a vacuum in one year. How far? How far? That's, oh, what, far. Far. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, how Thank can you. somebody tell me? Okay, so yes, and That's then the part of the question. <laughs> yes. For a bonus point, um, how many miles or kilometers is this? Three times ten to the eight meters per second. No. No. Nope. Approximately oh, nine oh, kilometers. kilometers. Yeah. Which I don't even know. It's three point two six. <laughs> Oh, but that's not. Many kilometers? I used to know. See, I don't anyway, even memorize that. Okay, ready? Right right I know a some lot. numbers. A lot. <laughs> Describe Hubble's law and its significance. <laughs> okay, this is the one. <laughs> 68 <laughs> kilometers per second per megaparsec, and it relates the distance to an object to how fast it's receding due to the expansion of the universe. Right. So the yes. Hubble constant is separate from the cosmological constant. Yeah, completely yeah. yes. really different thing. That's right. right. Yeah. Not <laughs> Um, what are the three main properties that define a black hole according to the laws of It has mass, it has charge, and it has spin. Yeah. Or is it so magnetic? Yeah. It's in magnetism, not charge. Electric charge. Oh, no, he's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I wouldn't have got that. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, name the two main types of supernovae and just briefly describe. Yes. Type one and type two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah type, one, type one is are things that uh, fall onto mass falling onto a white dwarf causing an atmospheric explosion. Type two is about a massive star and exploding, owing to its central core being exhausted. Of fuel. So I believe you, but can I? <laughs> oh my God! I'm sure it's just an answer. Oh, but I'm so, lying. Are you backwards? Type two no. results from the collapse of the stars, while type one is associated that's, with the explosion. That's, that's what he said. That's no, what the white dwarf said, one. White dwarf is type one, and the type two is yes. The, yes. 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 Okay. okay. Honest. <laughs> How did the universe begin? Everyone just pauses because <laughs> yeah. uh, with the Big Bang, but that's just a oh, theory. Yeah. Yeah. Don't theoretically. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So, Let's have a God made it. Let's go for the last question. And for, for all the down. For the chance of glory. Here we go. Winning question, guys. I don't Is it the winning question? I don't think that's true. <laughs> no, the winning question. <laughs> 
Which planets have no moon? Mercury. Mercury and Venus. Venus. No, no. He, I Calvin, thought you were answering, and then you stopped. I said Mercury, and, and I was in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> said both, yeah. Oh my god! So, no. Say, what was your answer? Mercury and Venus. Okay. <laughs> See, <laughs> well, well, so put Randy out of business. <laughs> oh yeah. <right. laughs> okay, so while we tally up the scores, thank you guys very much for sticking with us. Oh, well done. I'm having some fun. <laughs> well, good um, job to you guys. Good. Good. Hopefully, we can fun. have a rematch uh, at some point in the future. Like the maybe the NRC won't be scared. Yeah, yeah they exactly. ran off. Yeah, in the NRC to the mix next time. Um, our next star party, if you're interested, is going to be February the 24th. Um, and I will put in an order for clear skies as I try to yes, yes. Um, do that. But there will be exactly but there will be a great program with a speaker and a children's program and dome tours and the like. And they are still counting, which is a good sign. <laughs> um yeah, we've got some exciting things on the horizon. There's going to be an open house coming up at the beginning of April. If you have friends uh, that you want to bring up that haven't come up before, we're going to do a couple days with an open house. And then personally, what I'm already looking forward to is May the 4th happens to be a Saturday. So we are going to have a Star Wars day. I wonder what that will entail. And cosplay and such, so you can mark your calendars. Oh, yes. Can we hide your Yes. Yes. And if you haven't before, you can find us on YouTube and you can follow us, which we always appreciate the follows. You can also follow us on Instagram and uh, Facebook at Friends DAO. I think we might have a formally known as Twitter thing, but I don't. I don't know who is yeah. currently yeah. operating. Yeah, 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 don't find it's like a Friends. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. But I think on YouTube we're Friends of the DAO. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. And we have a score. We're just going to write the scores down Drama? officially. Oh, Ooh, yeah. and wow. sign off on it. Exactly. We have a team of lawyers here looking over it. Yes. <laughs> Glory. 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 <laughs> and we'll have writing rights over the people who didn't come. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> okay, Alyssa, you want to make it official? No, I don't have to I can exclusively reveal that the FDA won by 100 points. Whoa! Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. That is we will definitely look forward to a rematch. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Well done, team. Yeah, that was quite something. That was great. I feel like we got destroyed that last round, but we somehow still managed to win. There we go. I like that. That's really nice.